This is the Heavy Hitter Club channel. For internal schema name, this is an internal database name that you can use to uniquely identify uh, the review. For this example, we'll say Google Review Steve Smith. For ID schema node reference, this is the reference that's used in the additional schema types to reference in this review. I prefer to use the URL where the review is located. So we'll use google.com backslash Steve Smith review. So this would be the URL where the review you're doing is located. For item reviewed, this is the item which the review is talking about. You can review either local business and article currently. For this example, we're using local business. So I select local business and then I select the local business that is being reviewed. For author, this is the author of the review. Typically, you do not know a lot of details about the author. So I tend to use just author name and we can say Karen Wilson. If you would like to create a person schema for the author, you can, and then you could use schema, and then you could select the person schema that you've created. Typically, I go with just author name, and I take the author name from the review that was done online. For audience, this would be the audience that the review may be helpful to. So for this example, let's say, the audience would be basketball fans. For review body, this would be where you put in the entire body of the review. For URL, this is the URL of where the review is located. So for ours, we will say Steve Smith review. So google.com backslash Steve Smith review. For rating value, this would be the value that you were given in the review. So let's say in this review, they were given a 4.9. For best rating, this is the best rating that would be given in a review. So for this example, we'll say the best rating could be 5.0. To save the review, after you've input all the information, you click the save button in the top right. This is the Heavy Hitter Club channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell.